Hey everyone, have you ever wondered what color the stars are? I mean, usually when you look up at the sky, the stars just look like little white dots. But if you look really closely, sometimes you can notice they're not all the same color. So, let's take our camera out there and I'm going to take some long exposure pictures of the stars and we're going to see what color the stars really are. Okay, looks like a great night to shoot the stars. There's a star. That's Vega up there. We got the Big Dipper over here. We're gonna shoot. Let's see what color these stars are. Okay, so here's my long exposure picture of the Big Dipper. You can see when you do long exposures, it really lights up the sky. A lot of light pollution. So let's zoom in and see what color these stars really are. So in order to see the true color of each star, all I did was take my editing software and just click on each star and copy the color and copy that color to a bigger box. So here's the Big Dipper again with the color from each star copied into a bigger box next to it. So you can see that the stars on the left, they're obviously this bluish color. The stars on the right are more reddish. And then using these colors, you can actually predict the temperature by looking at a chart of black body radiation color temperatures. So the blue stars are the hottest and the red stars are the coolest. If you want to be more quantitative about it, which I usually do, I found this formula where you can take the RGB color from any color scheme and you can apply it to this formula and it will output what temperature, whatever light you took a picture of, it'll calculate the temperature of that. So using this formula, I applied the RGB values from every star in the Big Dipper and here's what I got. So this plot, the blue values are the real temperature that I looked up online and then the red values are my predictions. So I predicted that Alcade was around 16,000 degrees Kelvin, the hottest star, and online it said around 18,000 degrees Kelvin. And it actually worked surprisingly well for every star in the Big Dipper. I could just use the RGB value in that formula and it was really close to the actual temperature of the star. That's pretty amazing if you ask me, that you can just use the RGB values from a regular picture and you can predict the temperature of the stars. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned a little bit about stars. And next time you look up at the stars, try to notice all those beautiful colors shining through. And we'll see you next time.